Hi guys, this is uh, Tigaza just going over my screen uh, printer thing that you saw my, may have seen in my demo uh, demo reel. If not, then as I just said, this is a printer but in Roblox and I'm recording the whole screen so you can see it's in Roblox Studio. And I've already got uh, the logo of Roblox which I did not build myself. It's uh, purely scripted as you can see and I did not uh, define my edges properly because you can see the part of the background there oh well whatever yeah the original image is basically that it's a little program that I wrote here in uh, HTML and JavaScript this is actually live on my website it's basically you can just draw anything and then save it in any kind of picture that you can get that you can get on the on the internet what my printer uses is basically if we go into quickly into the code is hex if we could read machine language that's what it would appear like or that's what it would appear to us like there we go so it basically goes through this string which is if I do a little quick example I'll save this as hex okay there we go a screen of hex basically goes through all of that working out what color is what where that is one pixel that is the second pixel etc etc all the way through the picture these numbers here basically just telling me the size of the image that we're printing at the moment it's all manual as you can see because at the moment I'm just editing this, this script every time I en enter in a new picture of something. The size of the picture that, that I can do up to is this. This is the max, 512 pixels. It's not because... Uh, wow, it is because it's very computer intensive. As I, I think I said in my uh, demo reel. Right, anyway, I'm going to reset this example and you can see it printing out. I've sped it up since the actual demo reel. Right, let's redo it. There we go. You see that? It's taking a lot of CPU. That is laggy. And I do hope I'm recording. Right, there we go. You can see it printing out. I'm going to do a few little uh, other pictures just to make sure to show you guys that it is actually printing out the picture, not something in code hidden in the code somewhere. That's basically the code. Very, very short, very, very simple. Apart from that little bit. <laughs> anyway, that's my printer. I'm going to load up another little picture. Right, file open. Let's load up. That's the logo. Let's load up that one. Right, file export. Yeah, let's open that. That's 2561192. Uh, no, we don't want that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm using Camtasia again. Pretty awesome. 192, that was already done 192. So which one was it? Didn't save. Let's redo that again. That was my other one. I should have prepared for that. Let's do that again. Oh well, tell you how. And the thing is, with this uh, printer thing, this HTML thing is really quick. When it prints out all this, spits out all this code, as you saw. Which is uh, quite an achievement because it's a really long code. If you ever programmed before and you ended up uh, with a very, very long code, you know it would take a long time. Yeah, this value I'm editing here is for transparency. So, because this picture has got no transparency, like the like that robot's logo, like this, I do not need the transparency. Yes, right, and that's printed out this next p next 
uh, picture. Takes a little bit, little bit for it to go. There we go, and it's printing out. It should be a little bit quicker because it's not so big. Also, the colours seem to be just slightly off. I don't know what the reason behind that is. It might be because uh, robots has uh, decreased their number of colours or something. What I'm using, if you want to know, I'm using the colour 3 value, breaking it down from 255 to between 0 and 1 for colour 3 value. So I don't know if there's a complication in the coding or something. As you can see, it looks a bit bandy, right, especially around here, and the logo. I'll show you the original. Uh, where are we? Preview. There we go, that's the original. That's a piece of artwork that I've done myself. It shouldn't look that bandy, as you can see. But it's good enough for what I wanted. I may even find out why it's so bandy. Just hope it's not the colour thing. Not enough colours. But it's operational, which is the main thing. Alright, let's load up another picture. Do, do, do. File open. Let's do after the battle. My ro most recent uh, piece of artwork. I'll hopefully, if I remember, to link these artworks so you can actually have a look at these on the net, on my DeviantArt page. So, yeah. Right. Uh, where are we? Roblox. Paste. 160. I'm thinking about doing a video for my artwork so I can show them off in a slideshow like, like you see on YouTube sometimes. I don't know if you guys would like to see that. Because at the moment I've just uh, done a link on DeviantArt and that's it. <laughs> I may do a bit of artwork show or something, I don't know. Depends how I feel later. Right. Yeah, that's really annoying, those colour differences. Brooch, it is actually reading the hex, which is the main thing. And why have I got two open again? Don't shave. Two notepads full of uh, hex. Lovely. All right, let's close that down. In fact, there we go, there's the original. And there's the robots version printed out on my printer. I think I just need uh, higher resolution or something, I don't know. Anyway, that is my printer for Roblox, as you saw in my demo reel. And that's basically it. I was just thinking about maybe making these, making this as part of a game or something, where maybe not printing out a picture it could where we got the bricks and everything else here where's that then? right up the top, okay yeah it's individual bricks, I was just thinking where the bricks themselves could be cells of a game that you're running through and maybe something with my flood fill algorithm that I programmed in my uh, one other one. In fact, I can actually quickly show you that in what operation. Right, let's close this down. Where it's sort of chasing you behind, chasing you. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's changed since the uh, since the demo demo thing. All right, let's print out. There we go. I was thinking about something like that, where we'll go into a maze or something. Where I'll print out the actual maze using that code that you saw previous with my printer. And then use this to hunt down the player. That'd be quite cool. Anyway, 
that was my printer and I guess flood field algorithm so whatever <laughs> this thing basically just checks up down left and right from the brick that it starts from there we go so it generates that generates a random color which is 0 to 255 and then I'll divide it by 255 to get 0 to 1 from the value from the math random up here let's say red divided by 255 whatever that value is let's say it's 128 divided by 255 is 0 0.5 off hand something like that then I show then I find the actual point in the display then it goes through then it finds the actual color and it checks for the color up here in this function here after it goes to flood field so it's setting a few values there like the selected color which is in this case navy blue and the flood field color of the original thing no I got that wrong the flood field sorry that is the color that we randomly selected then it selected the color which is this color I was right would help you I prepared this in before <laughs> anyway then it goes it clears the points array because I'm using an array system here to find the bits in the thing and it looks like you just crashed on me never mind anyway it sets that then it sets the pointer to 1 then it runs the code the finding code so it comes up here it goes through the entire size of the picture as we start this it goes through the entire picture width and length then it goes through the and it finds if there's enough uh, points in the array that goes up down left or right from the point that, that it's from in fact I can do this to show it off, show what I mean off I guess this is going to be a two two in one sort of video <laughs> oh well uh, let's have a look from to zero that shouldn't print it out there we go you see that as we saw in our demo reel or my demo reel and I'm missing something there do, 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 do. where are we there we go no that's not it must be further down these functions I'm skipping over is basically the functions that it calls to check up from the selected brick down from the selected brick left from the selected brick and then right etc etc and that's they be called there down up down left from right it's basically just as I said it's just basically just checking the color if it's the same color as the brick that it's on oh I did not want to click, click that because I die yay for death fail right there we go let's slow that down a bit while we'll wait 0 0.5 so it'll be every half a second there we go in fact that hasn't changed does it lovely hmm. 0 0.5 there we go one one <coughs> there we go that's my code in action lovely this took me a while to work out <laughs> and yet it's so simple all I had to do was uh, sort it out into a table and then go through the table checking the points and then if the table is actually empty then check the points like come on you can change see that sort of grows out from the center point 
and in, in the case of that square there it didn't fit it in because it weren't the same colour oh no not the same colour I thought we were going to uh, get rid of it yeah if it finds the point if it finds the array length for the points equals zero and the actual checks from here equals false then it gets breaks out the array then it breaks out the function even but because I've got it in a while true do loop or in this case while wait loop it continues anyway let's go back to my printing thing since it was meant to be about the printed thing not the blood field thing <laughs> bit here right play and there we go so that's half the reason why I haven't done much in Roblox I've been working out these sort of things and yes I'm still doing my uh, robot thing I don't know if you saw those uh, little videos so anyway that's what I've been working on and hopefully soon I'll be doing more games as I was explaining just now about that maze thing hopefully soon I'll be able to do a little little uh, live test or live demo of it I'm not too sure yet I'm not sure, too sure how that would work yet I haven't worked out all these things yet I know why Roblox dis uh, displayed in all its epicness Lovely. So yeah, there we go. And that's together shining out.